Hey, what's up everyone? So welcome back to another video. And last week I made a video announcing that uh, NVIDIA is going to support FreeSync monitors. My monitor here is a FreeSync monitor. My second monitor, it's not a FreeSync monitor. So I'm going to show you here fast in the settings. The driver is already available. It's not like a beta driver, it's a, the official driver. And when you open it, at least for me, it opens directly on the G-Sync, maybe because I was on this tab already. And you can see here, enable G-Sync, G-Sync compatible for full screen, or if you want for windowed mode and also full screen mode. And here, select the display while you would like to change. I have two monitors, like I said, this one, uh, is the AOC monitor that I have with FreeSync and the second monitor it's not a FreeSync uh, monitor and doesn't show anything here so here you can see that this monitor wasn't tested by NVIDIA and says this selected display is not validated as G-Sync compatible which yeah they have only 12 uh, monitors that are compatible with this G-Sync uh, technology yeah 12 monitors from 400 monitors that they tested that's a bit too low but this this doesn't mean that uh, this will not work on your setup or in this setup that i have let's go fast here in the manage 3d settings i want to show you also one thing here if you scroll down here you can see this monitor technology g-sync compatible or fixed refresh fixed refresh uh, i didn't use it so i don't know what it does but from the name, it suggests that it's gonna lock the FPS or gonna lock the refresh rate. Not sure about that. If anyone in the comments knows about this fixed refresh, let me know. But uh, we're gonna let for now on the G-Sync compatible. This previously wasn't here. Let's go in the G-Sync tab again. And here let's enable the G-Sync option for my monitor. Uh, G-Sync. Compatible allows your monitor to stay in sync with your games, blah, 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 blah. Let's apply it and I'm going to open a game and I will see if there is any difference. I'm not sure if the difference will be shown on YouTube, but at least I should be able to see it with my own eyes. Maybe not on every game it will be the difference and I'm going to try to disable this option while I'm in the game and how this monitor wasn't tested to see as well if it makes any problems as well or if it runs worse than without it. So far, I'm not seeing any difference uh, with this G-Sync enabled, but so far the, the monitor like doesn't uh, turn on and off like Nvidia showed in their demo. They showed a monitor which was fine and then a monitor was like flickering, turning on and off. Uh, I think that was a made up demo, but uh, at least so far, nothing different. It's pretty smooth again can't really say if there is any difference with the G with this G-Sync uh, I'm gonna disable it in a moment and see if there is any difference let me just run a bit more to see if uh, there will be some freezes or something like that because how this monitor wasn't tested it might be some problems but so far when I'm moving I don't see any artifacts yeah there is no artifacts at all let's just hide here and uh, try to disable it Let's go here and disable. Let's see if there is any difference. Come on, apply. Okay, it applied. Let's go back to it. Oh, there was a freeze. Stop, stop, stop. Yeah, when I move, there is like some artifacts. It's not that smooth now. For example, here, here, I, when I move and when I arrive here, there is an artifact on the walls. Maybe I'm seeing stuff. Let's enable this again and see if uh, if I'm correct or not. At least for me, uh, I'm seeing that. I'm gonna check the footage after the video to see if um, the recording is actually showing the same stuff that I'm seeing. If not, then I'm uh, gonna try to record with the camera uh, to show you the difference. Let me go in the same spot because uh, that's the only way it's, it's gonna be a fair it's gonna be a fair uh, yeah. comparison. Yes, I, I guess it's the same thing. I mean, it's smooth, but when I come from here, it's kind of the same thing. Well, I now now that with with it enabled, 
I can't really say if, 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 if it's the same thing or if it's different. I mean, it's smooth so far, but I uh, can't really say if there is any difference. Oh, now it wasn't so smooth. I'm always kind of above 8 FPS, 60 FPS, so sometimes I feel like it's not really that smooth. For example, now it felt like a bit jerky. But so far in the fights, I mean, it's, it's, it's okay. Gotcha. Oh, shit. Now it was definitely not smooth when I was reloading. It was definitely not smooth. God damn. Okay, let's disable it now and play a bit to see if it's gonna be worse or better and how this monitor wasn't uh, tested uh, it might run worse than with this option on so let's let me see with it if i notice any difference while running and shooting someone you dead without it it's also kind of smooth here coming again the same path it's also pretty smooth without it, man. So, again, I can't really tell the difference. At least for the open eye, I can't tell the difference. Okay, with it on. Let's see. It's also pretty smooth still. Can't really tell the difference. Damn. The FPS are pretty good, but on this game, I can't really tell the difference. You guys try it and tell me in the comments if there is any difference for you or if there's any big difference for you. Uh, for me, I couldn't really tell if the difference is big or not. Maybe in the coming months, uh, there will be more updates and more monitors will be added to the list. Oh, and just to inform you guys, this driver and this option is only available in the graphics 10, 10 series and 20 series. So the graphics 1050, 1050 Ti, 1060, 1070, etc. And above that. So if you have under the 10 series, for example, the 980 Ti, 980, 970, then you can't really enjoy this option. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know in the comments if you tested this option and if you saw any difference. But yeah, until next one.